Hello everyone, hope you are doing great. So let's do the same as the previous video, but now by coding. So in order to do that, first let's delete all of this. Then we will need to create a script. We will call it audio and we will place it into, let's create a new folder called scripts and let's put it there. So this will create a script and it will open the script editor automatically. So we will need to tell Godot that when it's ready to post an event. So first let's delete this and we will tell wise dot register the game object. What's the game object that we want to register? This node, that the node that has the script, so it's self. And what's the name of the node? Self dot name. Then we want to register a listener. Let's put that uh, register listener. What's the node? Self. Then we want to load a bank. Wise dot load bank. Remember that we need to load the init bank, and then I have here the main menu. So let's. Oh, sorry. Let's load the init bank and then wise load bank main menu. And then we want to post an event. I have here the play music. So let's do that. Wise dot post event. The name it's play music. And it's referring to self because it's the node that has the script. So um, if everything works correctly, let's write sounds the music. So this is one way. Now I'm going to show you another way that it's um, it's the same, but changes instead of doing the putting the names of the sinks, it uses the IDs. And I prefer that way because in my experience, I had less trouble. So in order to do that, we have to change some things. First, we need to go into project settings, go into wise. If you don't uh, see the wise window, you need to click advanced settings. Remember that. Now I don't see it. Now I see it. And we need to, um, if you have this use some magnets, you have to unclick it. Um, and then you need to go into wise project. Uh, project settings, sound banks, and and click this one. Use some name for file names. Then we need to go into here. Let's generate all. Then we need to go into the WAPI picker and generate the wise IDs. And now we are ready. So what what does the ID means. So let's go into uh, this script and you will um, you will understand it better. Here the wise ID script says that this uh, script is an AK class and it has all the game things as classes. And for each class it creates a dictionary where each element of the dictionary has the ID. The ID is this unique number for each game sinks. You see it here. And again, it has the dictionaries. So we need to access these unique numbers. And you can put like this, these numbers here. But there is a much convenient way that I'm going to show you. Or that's the way that I do it. So we delete everything. 
So we will need to tell wise to um, load the bank, but the bank ID. And how do we access these scripts? So let's say the class AK. We need to access the class banks. And then we need to access the object in it. And that sh should tell Godot that you need to load the bank that is in the class AK, then in the class banks, and then the constant, or sorry, the uh, object in the dictionary called init. And init is this unique number. So great. Then let's call wise dot load load bank ID again, but this time for the main menu. And then let's use a post event ID and again ak dot here is events events dot play music so with ah and we need to refer uh, register the game object to its to sub because it's registered registered here so if everything works correctly there's the music these are the two ways uh, to uh, connect WISE with Godot by coding. Uh, I prefer this way because, as I mentioned previously, and for the sake of uh, the video, let's do, uh, let's post an state and change a switch and add an RTPC. So let's start with the states. So for that, we need to tell that the state is in the class player that is in the group because if you see here it's in the the group player that has the states live death or none that is the same as here it's the player the group player that has the states live death or none so let's go into the script let's say wise dot set state id and we'll tell it to go into the ak group then to the states player and group okay and then we need to assign the state so ak dot states dot player dot state dot let's say live so when the game starts the player is living and that's how you set the state let's set a switch uh, set switch id again you will need to go to the switch let's say we have a weapon and let's say you will start with a pistol so we need the switch ID group. So AK switches weapon group. And what the what's the switch? A pistol. AK dot switches dot weapon dot switch dot pistol. And where is the switch? registering to self okay and let's um, assign an rtpc for the player life so let's go into twice dot rtpc dot set dot rtpc value id and the rtpc is into game parameters player life so let's say ak dot rtp game parameters and it's 
player life. 100 and it's referring to self. Okay. And again, it, you won't see the states or anything, but it didn't show any error. It's here, Delta. But it's not being used. If we set again. And yeah, that's the way to uh, set up uh, Wise with the Godot by uh, coding. So in the next video, we are going to see how to use the UI and set up a simple shooting mechanism to uh, that when you click, you shoot and you can switch between a pistol or a shotgun and uh, WISE will change the switch. So until then, uh, that's for today. Uh, if you have any questions, suggestions, uh, leave the comment below and see you next time.